My name's Michael Pitts. I'm the underwater cameraman on uh, the production Ocean's Breath. Here we are on Montserrat, and interestingly, I was here in 2006 for another programme for the BBC, and that time I flew over in a helicopter and I saw the damage caused by the volcano. Um, I flew over Plymouth and I saw the devastation. It was actually um, unbelievable. This time I've come back to dive on that whole area which was swept into the sea. And having dived on many, many coral reefs throughout the Bahamas and uh, the Caribbean, what you can't imagine is just the scene of devastation. It's a lunar landscape. Slowly, slowly, the corals are coming back. And on this landscape, you see little signs of life. And, um, and amongst it all, there are the fish and the, uh, all the invertebrates that are living there. But it's wonderful to see the corals coming back. So we're here to record that and to show the contrast between the devastation and the beauty of the reef to the north of the island. For the most part, we're diving on uh, rebreathers, so it gives us longer bottom times, it's safer diving, but what has been a great support is the support of Aqualung. They've helped us tremendously by backing us and by um, giving us top-rate diving equipment, regulators, computers and suits. So having that support and having a company like Aqualung behind us makes a huge amount of difference. One of the sequences we're filming is biofluorescence in corals. So when there's a lot of biofluorescence, you know that the corals are healthy. So to do that, we use a blue light. Now, looking through the camera, this gives you a understanding of the health of those corals. Generally, we get in the water at about just at dusk, so we can assimilate ourselves to the reef, find out where the good locations are, and then start the search. And by using those blue lights and looking through a yellow filter, we get that incredible image of what's actually going on on the reef and the health of the reef. So for scientists, it's, uh, it's a great tool for, for checking the, the actual health of the, of the corals.